Well, I think the first major change was the introduction of the, the Excimer laser. This was a laser that was introduced from industry. They used the laser to cut silicone chips. And someone had the bright idea that you could use it to reshape the cornea by removing very, very small amounts of tissue. So that was the first breakthrough that came, and it was introduced for patients in 1988. In fact, I was at Louisiana State University when the first patient was operated on there with the Excimer laser. Um, and there have been engineering advancements and refinements with the Excimer laser technology to, to bring us uh, customized laser where we can actually take a footprint of everyone's eye, their unique footprint of their eye, and transpose that onto the laser treatment so that we can uh, give people the best possible vision that's, uh, that's available. And that we call wavefront or, or customized uh, laser treatment. And I think that, that, that that area of technology is maturing now and it's changing at a, at a slow rate. Um, the, I think the, the next biggest development has been the introduction of the intralase, whereas before to do the LASIK procedure we required a, a mechanical device with an oscillating blade. This can now be done in a, a safer, more controlled fashion by using a laser. And a lot of people are, are justifiably concerned about having a blade cut their cornea, whereas the idea of having it done with a laser uh, aside from being more safe, it sounds safer as well, and it, it helps allays people, people's anxieties when they're thinking about having uh, laser eye surgery.